Hey everybody, Sam here, and welcome back to Green Acre Homestead. I'm uh, currently trying not to fall down the hill and trying to multitask, and this might end in disaster. But, if it doesn't, I want to welcome you to the next part of our Roof Over series. We're adding a brand new roof to our 1988 Palm Harbor single wide mobile home, adding a roof, overhangs, ease, gutters, and all sorts of awesome stuff where we had none before. I'm down here in my workshop because I got ready to work and totally forgot my batteries. So, get my batteries and now go up to the house. I'll see you when I get up there because I got to carry three batteries plus a camera and I'm not going to try and do all that and walk up in the hill at the same time. This video actually starts a couple of days back with us finishing the other side of the house. So while I get my tools and stuff together, we'll go ahead and let you recap on that. And by the time you're done with that, I'll be ready to start here on this side of the house. What are you doing? I'm working. Yeah, but you were on a ladder a second ago. I know. I'm you getting dirty. You said you weren't going to get on a ladder. I'm not on the roof. I'm closer to the ground still. Ah, technicality. Yep. Watch out, there's the wonder bar up there. Yeah, too far? No, that should be okay. Your comfrey is a giant. I know, it needs cut, but I wanted to ask if anybody can use it. Alright. Can you get like the Yeti of water or something? The Yeti of water, yeah. Yep, I knew it looked dorky. Dorky hat! <laughs> I don't know where my other one went. So, I have to say that I'm not as strong as I thought I was when you have to do this. <laughs> so, um, I had to find a way of kind of prying it off where you're using lever action more than muscle. And what I'm doing is working. I have to say, I'm getting coated in the butyl tape. Is that what it's called? and old tar stuff so it's kind of sticky and I'd say the worst part of it is there's like this fine dust junk that's in the old gutters and so as you're prying them off it just coats all of you but thankfully <laughs> yes I do know somebody makes soap me but um Sam's moving the ladder for me and he just got done so I guess I gotta get back to work
All right, so you're all caught up. Great, welcome to the present. We're gonna continue working on the front of the house here. I've got about three sections of fly rafters, which was what the majority consensus was. Well, that or Fred's, of those wooden things we're sticking on the roof. I've got three of them done. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on down the line and do as many as I can. I've only got three more left here on the front of the four-wheeler. There it is. So I will have to stop at some point and make some more. But for now, let's go ahead and continue putting them on the house and then following them back up with the two by six fascia boards as we can as well. Okay, enough messing around. I've made it all the way from the end of the house to the front porch and it's at the point where I need to change the ladders configuration from long vertical to folding articulating so that it can go over the steps and everything on the porch. Before I do that I want to go ahead and start filling in and attaching my 2x6 facial board so that I don't have to go back and forth with the ladder. Once I get it over there it's technically out of the sheep yard. I mean I gotta get it through the gate and all that and I just don't have to go back and forth. So yeah let's do that. You want to do that? Sure, let's go. So I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, so I'll go ahead and say it really quickly before I cover it up and just end up never mentioning it. These fly rafters are attached to the double header of our home walls, which is two two by four stacked up on the top of the walls. There it's attached with three and a half inch long exterior grade Torx drive deck screws. Really big ones. These. The plywood then gets tacked through the top into the fly rafters themselves and those are being attached with three inch long Torx drive exterior grade deck screws or exterior screws. They're not just decking only. I then come back with the two by six which is what I'm just about getting ready to get put up and I attach them two per fly rafter with three and a half inch screws and then I come down the length of the two by six and pin the two pin the plywood down into the 2x6 using the 3 inch screws. When it's all said and done this becomes extremely strong and extremely rigid. That also reminds me of a question someone asked why am I doing 2x6's for my fascia board? Most of the time they say they've seen people use one by material. 
I'm doing that for a couple of reasons. One, it's a lot stronger. Two, it's beefing. But most importantly, number three is it helps the plywood stay very secure on this very edge. And then it also gives us a really strong attachment point for anything in the future, whether it be really awesome giant gutters, whether it be a porch roof, an addition, who knows. Doing the two by sixes was not that much more material costs or anything like that. And it just gives us a lot of options in the future. So that's, that's our why for why. Let's go ahead and put this two by six up. Now the number one tool for this, as far as helping, is a clamp. If you guys have saw the other video about putting eaves up, you'll know the pain with clamps. But I'm using an F-style screw clamp today and that helps me get it a lot tighter. So hopefully this guy won't slip off. I chose to do 10 foot long two by sixes rather than eight foot so that I know that none of my joints line up on the joints of these fly rafter assemblies and it helps tie everything together. Plus it's just fewer boards overall to throw up here on this roof. Once the clamp is in place, it's pretty secure. I don't totally trust it though until I at least have one screw in the system. So let me go ahead and do that. Quit talking and do that. I make sure my two x six is butted up tight against the previous one. And go ahead and drive a screw in here. Looks like I need a little bit of closure here. It's always good to have closure, right? So I'm just watching this crack here and tighten the clamp up until it's all the way up to the plywood. This is where it's also beneficial to have much more than just one or two or three clamps. I think I have like four or five up here I've been working with. Because I need to add a little bit more clamping pressure right here. Now with that one in place, I'm still leaving this other one down here to make sure it's tight and kind of work my way down the line. Here you can see I've marked the plywood ahead of time and that's the location of my rafter tail or fly rafter thingamajig Fred piece. This makes it a lot easier to make sure I hit my rafters with the screws so long as I actually follow my mark. Now the 2x6 fascia board is attached to the rafter tails, I can come down and attach the plywood to the 2x6 using my 3 inch long screws. Once the 2x6 is attached and everything's attached, it is really, really strong. I mean, I'm sure I'm shaking the camera. It's on a clamp mount attached directly to the plywood. But otherwise, as far as overhang, 
No worries. No worries at all. All right, at this point, it's just a matter of rinse and repeat. Go on down the line using the clamps, screws, and every tactic I can find in the toolbox just to get it done. Okay, this is probably six or seven days after you just did the gutters. Probably. You're wearing the same shirt though. Am I? Awesome. So yeah, it's probably been a week, you know, the laundry cycle. <laughs> um, so tell everybody what your thoughts were. Okay, no, no, let me back up. Tell everyone how you totally blew showed... Blew you out of the water. Yes, blew me out of the water, <laughs> showed me up on the total efficient way to take the gutters off. I think I did pretty good on that. The time it took him to do... I don't know, 10 feet, 15 feet. I did like the whole 60 feet. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. There's no way, there's no other way around that. I guess, um, I don't know. I don't know if I was trying to be a perfectionist or if I was just trying to, you know, do like I used to do as a kid. If you do a job bad, somebody else will do it for you. Um, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad, really you, bad I'm glad you decided the demolition part rather than the building part. I'm glad you decided to do that on the demolition part rather than the yes, yes putting I'm, together I'm, part. I'm okay with building stuff. You do good with demolishing. We're a good team. <laughs> well, it feels really good having both of the long sides of the house done. All of the rafter tails, no, fly rafters. That's what people told us it was called. All the fly rafters are done on the house. That's a total of about 150 feet worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. I went through probably about 15 pounds worth of screws, so that was ouch on the wallet, but it is what it is. Not much left to go. Not much left to go. Just have to frame up the rakes or the ends of the house, you know, the little pitch side for the gable roof, and then we can start roofing. Put the metal on and yep. be done with the project. Yep. We're almost to that point where we just cover up every bit of this work and no one ever really knows what happened. That's okay. I'm ready for it. Me too. <laughs> well, that's all for this part, guys. Uh, this is kind of a longer video, but I did want to show you at least the process and how it honestly took us about a week, if not a week and a half, working as we could between other things that go on in our lives and still getting the work done. So for, <laughs> so for you soap lovers out there, um, I do have a seasonal pumpkin spice scent coming out. There are only 60 bars, and they will be available, should be Monday, October 19th. So, if Act you want fast. them, yes. Last so. year, they sold out quick. And when we have done other seasonal or holiday-themed soaps, they've gone fast, too. So, just wanted to let you guys know, and there will be a link below if you want to check those out. 
Otherwise, leave a comment below. We love to read them. And we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. Bye. Bye.